early. Come back to bed. Come on. Please. by to thank you for setting up that job interview for me. This isn't a good time. I just need something to keep me busy now that Cody's out of the house. He just turned 11. I enrolled him in military school last year. It's supposed to be a great program. Boy, kids, you know, they just grow up so fast. So I heard that you were dating again. Knowing you, I bet she's brainy. Quixotic. 90 points! Woo! <laughs> You know, your work with the elderly really inspired me, Tom. I mean, they have so much to teach us, and we have so much to teach them. You know, ultimately, they really are just like us, only older. Anyway, I'm hoping that a new career will help keep my mind off of bad memories. I'm sure you have memories, too. He's the kind of person you never forget. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night wondering where he is. And then I remember. I know you miss him too, but it's really been hardest on me. Oh, I'm rattling on, but if you don't vent your emotions, they just well up inside you and burst out. The harder you try, the harder it all gets. Until you just want to shake it off and it's like you're carrying around this enormous burden. Sometimes your problems get so big, you can't let it go. And then what do you say to yourself? Jesus! Yes, you can turn to religion or family or friends, but in the end, you're still in agony. That's why I want to become a nurse. I'm just so in tune with everyone's emotions. I guess I've always had a knack for being a nurse. 